I'm Kyle Clark, partner in the Washington office, with an update on investigation and enforcement priorities affecting companies and white-collar professionals. In speeches on October 27th and 28th, officials from the DOJ, the SEC, and the CFTC highlighted each agency's enforcement priorities. DOJ officials focused on three areas. First, DOJ reaffirmed its focus on prosecuting individuals in white-collar cases. DOJ's latest announcements included restoring a prior requirement that any company seeking cooperation credit to reduce its own punishment must disclose all non-privileged information about all individuals involved in the misconduct, regardless of their position or seniority at the company. Second, DOJ reiterated its focus on foreign bribery and anti-corruption efforts. Officials noted the department's continued efforts to track down proceeds of foreign bribery that end up in the United States, and then to use existing federal seizure and forfeiture statutes to confiscate those assets. Third and finally, DOJ spoke of its plans to combat cyber fraud, including by ensuring companies truthfully describe their products and services, and ensuring that government contractors timely report cyber breaches. Shifting over to the SEC, SEC's new enforcement director, Gerbeer Graywall, spoke about the SEC's focus on the role of gatekeepers. Director Graywall identified specifically auditors, audit firms, underwriters, and attorneys among the group of gatekeepers the enforcement division plans to scrutinize when misconduct is identified. He also shared SEC's intention to focus on the cryptocurrency sector, including registrations and representations that are made about coin offerings and coin exchanges, and also the growing product sector of crypto-based lending and award programs. Now, rounding out with the CFTC, the Acting Director of Enforcement spoke of the agency's plans to examine digital assets and blockchain-based products that are offered on a margin or finance basis, with an eye toward whether those products should be offered on an exchange. Now, this activity will impact emerging foreign exchange products, including those being tied to cryptocurrency which some multinational companies are exploring as an alternative to traditional forex trading and hedging. I'm Tom Holmberg, a partner in the Washington, D.C. office of Baker Botts. On September 28, Senator Martin Heinrich of New Mexico sent a letter to FERC Commissioner Richard Glick requesting Commissioner Glick's views on certain issues regarding the interstate transportation and storage of hydrogen. On October 26, Commissioner Glick sent a response to the senator while he answered all of Senator Heinrich's questions, several of his responses bear repeating because they demonstrate the chairman's thinking on jurisdictional issues around hydrogen and FERC's potential future role in the regulation of hydrogen transportation and storage. First, Chairman Glick confirmed that the Natural Gas Act grants the commission authority over the transportation of natural gas in interstate commerce. This includes pipelines that blend some amount of hydrogen into the natural gas stream. First authority also extends to the tariff provisions setting forth the terms of service on the pipeline and the quality specifications of the natural gas stream to be transported. Although Chairman Glick confirmed the FERC's jurisdiction over pipeline transportation of hydrogen when blended into the natural gas stream, he also noted that in practice such blending is relatively rare. Finally, the chairman confirmed that the FERC's experience with linear transportation infrastructure, such as natural gas pipelines, may provide analogous expertise for regulating new hydrogen pipelines in the future. The day after Commissioner Glick responded to the senator's questions, Senator Heinrich issued a press release announcing the introduction of a bipartisan package of legislation intended to promote the development of clean hydrogen. One of the proposed bills, the Hydrogen Infrastructure Finance and Innovation Act, includes a provision requiring several regulatory agencies, including the FERC, to assess the jurisdiction over the siting, construction, safety, and regulation of hydrogen transportation and to report their findings back to Congress. We will continue to monitor the activities of lawmakers and regulators as they consider and deliberate the regulatory framework of hydrogen transportation in the United States.